Now that we've set up the transmitter, we can go ahead and begin to calibrate the QBrain 4-in-1 ESC, which is actually a two-step process. The first step is programming the ESC, and the second step we'll do later on after we've set up the mission plane or ground station when we're ready to tell the Pixhawk flight controller that the ESC is ready to go live. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is to connect the TH hub to the Turnigy uh, programming card. To do that, we simply plug it into the, the BEC port on the card, making sure that the white wire, which is the signal wire, is on the signal pin. Now what we need to do is disconnect our signal wires from the QBrain ESC that go to the Pixhawk flight controller and then plug them into the TH hub that we just connected to our card. Now the first thing we want to do is take the three wire and make sure that we put that on the first row of pins with the white signal wire on the signal pin. On the TH hub there's a small S that indicates the signal row of pins. So be sure that your white wire is on the signal pin. After that we can continue to hook up the rest of the wires and it doesn't matter which order that these wires go in as long as the wire itself is connected to the signal pin as well. So now what we have is all of the signal wires from the ESC that were originally connected to our PixHop. We've taken them now and connected them to the TH hub that we connected to the Turnigy programming card. What this enables us to do is uh, program all of the ESCs at once. Remember it's a 4-in-1. ESC unit. With that done, we can go ahead and put power to the system. With power to the system, you can see that the programming card is all lit up. Now that we have power to the programming card, let me show you how to select your items. To select your items, you use the up and down arrow at the bottom of the card to cycle through your item selections. And then to move across to each option for, for the item, you use your left and right button. Now our first option is the brake. When the brake is on, the motors will stop immediately when the throttle stick is moved to the lowest position. For our build, we don't want an immediate cutoff of power to the motors, but rather a gradual one. So we're going to set this to off. Item 2 is the battery type. Since we're using LiPo batteries, we will leave that set to LiPo. The third item is the cutoff type. The cutoff, the cutoff type sets the low voltage protection. When soft cut is used, the power to the motors will be gradually reduced. When cutoff is selected, the ESC will immediately shut down the power to the motors during a low voltage condition. For this build, our choice is to set this to soft cut for a gradual cutoff. So we'll just use our left and right button oh, for soft cut. Now, item number four. The cutoff voltage. What is the cutoff voltage? The cutoff voltage sets the threshold at which the previous cutoff type will be activated. For this build, our choice is to set this to middle, but you can use your discretion and set it to any of the three options. 
Item number five is the start mode. The start mode options determine how quickly the motors will accept, accelerate from a stationary takeoff. A normal setting will get the quadcopter, quadcopter off the ground very quickly. A soft or a very soft setting will get the craft off the ground more slowly. For this build, our choice is to set this to very soft, but you can set it to any of your preferences. Now the timing mode. What is the timing mode? The timing mode determines the communication speed between the ESC and the motor. Our understanding of this mode is that the communication speed has more to do with the number of poles on the motors. In general, motors with a greater number of poles should be set to high, and for a low number of poles, the timing should be set to low. For this build, our choice is to set this to high. Now, item number seven. Item number seven, of all the settings, this setting or this set of items and options is the least understood. The first selection made will set the music played by the quadcopter. The second selection will tell the ESC how many cells the LiPo battery has. For this build, our choice is A for the music and B for the battery. So let's go ahead and set that up. Our first selection will be for music, which is A. Our second selection is going to be B for the music. Now we have A and B, and that's important to have both the music and the number of cells programmed in. Now let's move down to the governor mode. Basically the governor mode determines how the ESC will adjust the lift produced by each motor. Our choice for this build is to set the governor mode to, to off, but you can feel free to experiment with that one. Now that we've got our settings all set, we can go ahead and press the OK button. The blue LED will flash, indicating that the new settings are being transferred to the uh, transferred to the ESC. And when that's done lighting, there we go. When that's done lighting. Uh, all that new information has now been transferred to the ESC, stored there, and your ESC is now programmed. Now that we've got the ESC programmed, we can go ahead and disconnect the power first. Then, disconnect our ESC signal wires and reconnect them to the pick sock.